Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video and solicit your guys' help if you guys can. Uh, and if you would go and vote for Maxwell Lund in the um, Pencil World Sneaker Championship, he made it to the finals, which is super badass. Uh, out of 4,700 designs, he made it to the top 64 that were chosen by judges and then eliminated from 64 to 32 to 16 to 8 to 4. Now he's in the top two. And the winner of this Pencil World Sneaker Championship uh, gets $20,000 as well as obviously something awesome for his resume in design. And then he also gets a um, potentially the shoe designed and released at Foot Locker towards the end of the year, which would be absolutely crazy. Um, I just, if you guys didn't know, Max and I have some history. I was literally his first subscriber on YouTube. Um, I remember seeing him do some speed drawings of just random sneakers here and there. And it was so badass. He was so good at what he did. And then he made his own colorways up, and then eventually he ended up doing this crazy thing of designing his own sneakers. Now he's in school and college, and I can definitely see him uh, at Nike or Adidas uh, someday. So definitely, please, if you can, go vote for Max Lund. Link in the description. You can only vote one per IP address, but please go vote. I really want to see him win this thing. He definitely deserves it. He puts in a lot of work, and he's just a mad, talented dude. And if anybody's watching this video that is works at, at Nike or Adidas, that has the, the pull to be able to bring him in for an internship. Uh, I mean, reach out to me. At my my email's in the description or reach out to Max. I'd love to see something like that happen. Uh, he definitely deserves it. So wanted to give you guys kind of a q and I asked him a couple questions and I figured it would be fun to, to share these with you. I asked him one, what's his next, next steps? And he said finishing up school while he still works on the other shoes uh, to build up his portfolio that he can then apply towards an undergraduate internship at Nike or Adidas. Uh, just making sure... Uh, that's, um, he says, making sure I do all that I have to and more to increase my chances in making this a career, which I definitely think is an awesome idea. Uh, where do we, where do uh, you see yourself in 10 years? I asked him, he said his goal is to be creating signature basketball shoes at Nike or Adidas, whoever is willing to give him a shot. Uh, being from Minnesota, he would love to design an, uh, for Andrew Wiggins, which is obviously Adidas and hopefully you can get there someday. Um, but, but if you haven't seen, he does some mock-ups of some Andrew Wiggins shoes that he designed on uh, Instagram. He does a lot of phenomenal work and I'll link his Instagram in the description as well. I also asked him Kanye or Kobe because he's a big fan of both of them. And he said if he was given the opportunity, he would, um, if it was only one of them, he said he would choose Kanye in a heartbeat. He grew up watching Kobe his whole life, but, uh, and is his favorite athlete of all time. But unfortunately there isn't much he can get from him anymore because he is retired and uh, he feels like he can get more personally from uh, talking to Kanye, which I think is a really, really dope and I don't know, just knowing that he likes both of them, it's, it's kind of cool that uh, hearing like an answer from him, which one he likes. Also, a little bit of bonus information about him. Growing up, he always liked to draw and he always liked basketball. He said the older I got, the better he got at drawing. And the more he started to realize that he sucked at basketball, um, LOL. So uh, this was a way to combine the two things that he enjoyed. And during the days, he would sit on the bench in high school and then he would start uh, drawing. He said he first started drawing Kobe's and posting videos on the time lapse on YouTube which I'm aware of, obviously, as I mentioned, first subscriber. And I'm proud of that, man. Um, and then after a while, he got bored drawing existing shoes and then making his own colorways. He made the What the LeBrons before they came out in like a really cool mock-up that uh, nobody else like like it, it was his mock-up of the What the LeBrons were better than ones that actually released, in my opinion. Um, anyway, it's crazy you said that it was only two years ago when he started making uh, all these things. And now he is in the finals of the World Sneaker Championship. And he just worked up. Uh, on it every day during these two years and, and because he enjoyed it and it was like a break from reality similar to getting home and playing video games and whatnot um yeah it's pretty cool and and like i said so if you guys didn't know uh the history there obviously i've been a big fan of his from the beginning and fyi this is a nightwing colorway shout out to nightwing because he posted his shoe and and telling people to vote for him on instagram too i love that nightwing supports it as well um but he ended up doing a uh, Dornbecker 3 like print that he ended up sending me. That was really dope that he uh, drew. And then he also uh, made me a LeBron like one with a bunch of different LeBron models. And then lastly, he ended up making a uh, the Stewie, what, uh, not the what the Stewies, but uh, the pair of Stewie dunks that he designed with the, the uh, Stewie face on the tongue. Just a really cool pair of dunks. Probably my favorite dunks that I have in my collection. And then check this out. He even made a Hess Kicks inspired colorway of his design. So please support Max. Uh, mean a lot to me. Mean a lot to Max. I definitely want to see him win this thing. Um, and the shoe design is super sick. I love the laces. I love the way that he incorporated that as a pull down. You guys know I don't like to tie my laces as is. And this is a really, really dope 
uh, design, in my opinion. Definitely one that I would rock. It's a really, really, um, just a really sick, casual shoe. Uh, link in the description if you guys want to vote. Uh, voting is due by Thursday, so check this week, Thursday. There'll be a countdown if you vote by then, um, and then that would be great. Uh, we would appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.